Hey developers, today we're going to look at Vue.js and we're going to look at something called dollar sign adders. So this is in a way where you can move information from our parent components to our child components. And I'll show you how that works without using props. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a software developer. I have several years of software development experience and I'm the author of the Vue.js in action book. So make sure you click on that link below and check it out. But before we start, let's have a quick message from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Progress. Now, if you don't know who Progress is, they're behind Kendo UI, they created NativeScript, they do a lot of stuff in the mobile development landscape, and they created this ebook. It's 100% free. In the description below, make sure you click on the link. You can put your email address in and get this ebook, and it has everything about the mobile development landscape. It's actually a pretty interesting read. It talks about mobile development in the early days, and what it's like to create mobile apps today. So make sure you click on that link in the description and you can download this free ebook and let's begin. All right, so let's take a look at adders. So real quickly, if we use the Vue.js API documentation, it talks about you can use dollar sign adders. It contains parent scope attribute bindings, except for class and style, that's really important, that are not recognized and are not extracted as props. When a component doesn't have any declared props, this essentially contains all parent scope bindings. So let's show an example of that. So here is the application. I actually created this in my last video. So if you haven't seen it, um, you don't have to watch it, but there, I'll put a link below. Well, ba basically what this app is, I have it right here, is I just have this button here. It's a component called Super Button. And every time you click it or you put the mouse over on it, it does things. Um, so you can see here, Right now, I just have it when you put the, the mouse over it, it updates the mouse moved. And here's the code here. So I have this super button component. I have these two clicked and mouse moved to just to track it. Anytime the mouse moves or clicks. And then I have a global component, which I'm using view.component here. I'm calling it the super button. And then I have this listeners that I set up, which I'm only listening for everything except click. That's why it's only working with the mouse movement. So if you remember correctly with Vue.js, there is a way you can pass props. And I'm not gonna show you that, but basically you can set a name. So like, I don't know, blah. And then you can put uh, some kind of variable here. Or if you wanna just have just text here, you can. So I can put hello. So if I just do it like this, and I don't declare it inside com my component as props, the way Vue.js handles that is it actually takes this, this blah here and it adds it to the first element that's inside the component. So let's see what that looks like. So I have this new blah hello here. And if I save it and I look here, now you can see here at the bottom it says button blah equals hell. So hello. So basically it's added as an attribute on the button element automatically. So that's what Vue.js does if you ever add uh, add an element here, add a tag into your, into your component, it just goes ahead and adds it in here. But if we want to do some binding, we could still do that. So let's say I have a variable, I'm gonna go ahead and bind blah to hello. So I have an Let's actually, let's call it ID to make it more consistent. I'm gonna call this ID here. And if we go down to the bottom, I have this, here is my root Vue.js instance. I have ID hello here. And then now I'm binding ID to ID, so to hello. If I save that, refresh it. Now you can look here, now I have ID equals hello in here. So I could do things like this. I could, I could just add a style tag, and then I could, I could put ID uh, of hello, and then I don't know. I can make the color blue if I wanted to. And if I re refresh it, you can see now I have blue as the color since I'm basically taking this ID that was added to this button, and I'm now adding to a style to it. So that's how it works if you don't use props. It just gets added onto the first element. If I had a div tag here, it would add, be added onto the div tag. At, at, div tag is an attribute. 
So one thing we can do is we can actually have access to all the different attributes that get passed in this way that aren't passed in by props. So if you remember our listeners, we have, we'll have look in the console here, I have this listeners that every time the mouse moves over, it gets triggered. So what I can do here is I can add this console log and I'll do this adders. And what this will do is if I refresh this, now you can see I have an ID hello. So you can see I have access to the attributes that are sent over. So now I have this hello, which is nice to have. So what I can do is um, I could take these adders and I can add them somewhere else in the application if I wanted to. Now the problem being is that I don't have any, if I look at this button here, I have ID equals hello, but what happens if I didn't want it on side, I, w I don't want it on this button or I don't want all the attributes. Let's say I have a second attribute, which is blah equals blah. And if we refresh it, now you can see here, ID equals hello and blah equals blah. But what happens if we don't want both of those on there? It just automatically defaults to the first element inside the com component. So to fix that, we can actually add something here. And we basically, we do this inherit adders and we put it to false. And what this does is it won't automatically add these attributes that you don't have prop set up for to the first element. So if we save this and we do a quick refresh, now if you look at the button here, you don't see any of the attributes set to it, which is perfect. We may not want it. Of course, if we want to, to do it, we can do vbind and we can put in adders. And if we do that and save it, now you can see down here, if you look again, we have ID hello, blah equals hello, and we have the blue color again. If we delete it, we save it. You can see now it's black to just black because we don't have the adders. It's the, the attributes are no longer there. So let's do one other thing. So we can do this V bind adders. And you remember we could do this computed property before. We can do the same thing with adders. So let's create one called adders. We'll do some destructuring here. So instead of, so if we look at our console, we have hello, our ID and blah. So we can take out, let's say we don't want the blah one. We can take this out, add adders here and equal this dot adders. And then we return adders just like we before. And then instead of having this vbind here, we can just have vbind adders. You can see it's still blue, but if we look at it, we only have the ID hello. We don't actually have the ID of blah. And we could do the same way. If we don't want, if we want blah, but not ID, you see now it's black again, but we have the blah attribute added to it. So you can see that is just a really quick, easy way of, of dealing with adders. You can see this is really powerful if you add it in with listeners that we saw in our previous video. You can do some cool stuff with it. Uh, one, other th one other quick thing you can do, um, we mentioned classes. So you can see here in our console, we have ID, hello, and blah, and this is printing out this.adders. But just like I mentioned, if we take our component here and we pass in, I don't know, class, equals my class and we save it and refresh. You can see it, it's not added to this dot adders as we expect, because like it said in here, class and style aren't going to be added to it. So keep that in mind. And also if you look at inherit adders, it tells you all about it too inside here where Basically, by default, parent scope attributes bindings are, that are not recognized as props will fall through and be applied to the root element of the child component as normal HTML attributes. That's why when we had these attributes on, it just got bound to this button right here. This is with inside the template. That's the template for the global component. But if you set it to false, then that behavior will be disabled, and then you can use vbind like we just did to bind it somewhere else. Now, you can probably get some pretty advanced scenarios and cases with this where you you're creating pretty complex components or you're extending buttons or text areas and do some really cool things this is sort of a contrived example of course since we're just using one button called super button 
But you could see this is is a really neat neat thing you can do, and you could see there's a lot of possibilities with it. So let me know below, in, in if you guys think this is uh, useful, let me know in the comments below. Have you ever used it? Um, and let, yeah, thanks.